How are we doing viewers? Right, um, I'm really quite excited about um, this project that I did the other day with the uh, mixing up of the resins and I made this. If you've seen that video, if you haven't seen the video it's either here now or down there now or somewhere around. So um, I want to try and turn something out of this and just see what I can make out of it because it's kind of quite exciting that I've actually made this from nothing, created these colours um, made it into a blank and then hopefully now going to make something from it. It's probably only going to be a small kind of lidded pot of some kind but I just think that's pretty cool and I really really can't wait to get it on the lathe. So I'm going to make this for you now and if you haven't seen as I say check the other video out of me making this in the pressure pot um, and uh, you'll see what I mean. Right let's get it on the lathe. What I'm trying to do here is um, I'm trying to um, go down a little bit further to, so I can get so I can see the, the wood that I put in there because um, that's going to give quite a good effect on one side really although it's a little bit of a shame because I've got quite a nice bit of blue there let me see that so I've got quite a nice bit of blue here which looks quite cool and then there's the wood there obviously that goes runs along down there you'll see it inside in a minute uh, this looks all quite nice. I think this was going to come up really well. Really quite excited about this actually. I'm really liking this. I think this is going to come out really nice. You can see what I finished off here. Um, if this does work out really well, I'm going to make a few more of these. Um, um, the wood I put in here, yeah, it's okay. It's, uh, you know, maybe it could have been maybe a little bit more interesting, but. That's probably why they do use the worthless wood, I suppose, because it's all kind of like bumper tea and stuff like that. Whereas this is just kind of plain block. I'm not sure whether I should take this off, this blue, because I think this blue is going to come up really nice. Maybe I should just try and uncover a little bit more of the wood here. But if I lose that blue, that's the only blue that I've kind of really got in here. So I don't know whether to lose that or not. I might keep that blue there. I'm going to take this down a little bit further and see if I can just creep a little bit more of the wood in as I go along and see how I get on with that. The only thing I hate about doing these, um, I don't hate it, but the resin mess, the mess that it makes. <laughs> um, you get all these like kind of stringy bits of resin and it makes a hell of a mess of the shop. It really does. And to clean up the shop, every time oh it's a nightmare but um nevertheless let's get on with it right so i have to remove this uh from the chuck for the minute because um I made this hole which is going to be one of these lids that's just going to slip inside the top here. Uh, but I need something to put in the top there. So I'm going to make a tiny little kind of knob, finial type piece uh, to put in the top of there. And I think black uh, ebony, I think it's going to look really nice.
Right, there we go. I've made the uh, lid and I've just basically pushed that in tight into there, glued it in there as well with a bit of CA glue. Um, this is a different uh, kind of knob finial type piece than you saw me make just a minute ago. The other one I made, where is it? Uh, ow. There it is. Slightly larger, um, but I just noticed that it's got a big gash out of the side of it, which is no good. So that was disappointing. So I made another one. It didn't turn out quite the same. Uh, a little bit smaller, this one. But um, nevertheless, it's done now. So, so that's the lid. Now we need to get the lid to fit the uh, fit the base. Now we can measure this uh, with one of these pieces of kit. Really handy. Uh, and all you do, open this up, measure the uh, measure it with this. So you can just clamp it up until you've got it fit in there. Tighten this up again. And then that's your fit for the lid and you use this side. So you can just mark it up here. So that's where it's gonna sit. So you could just put a little mark on there if you want. Uh, about there. so it's looking pretty good um, I've done uh, a couple of coats of the sand and sealer on it um, and I've done a Yorkshire grit so I'm just about to apply a final finish I might spray this one as well with a little bit of uh, uh, the melamine lacquer just to bring it up but I think this is this is looking quite nice actually so uh, let's put this on now Look at that. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, this is almost as exciting as shining up like wood as well. You know, when you get that final finish. 
It's almost as exciting as that. Oh. Come on. Let's get that uh, fit in there a bit more tighter than that. So we can get a finish on it. Right, look at that. Hey, it's almost finished, but not quite finished. I just need to finish off the base, which really, I just need to flip this over and then just tidy up the base and put my emblem in the bottom. Simple as that, really. But that looks awesome. I really love that. I really love it. Right, done. There it is. I'm pretty happy with that actually. Um, I had no idea this was going to come out in this way. Um, and now I know that, that this, uh, the way that I've made this resin with this wood works. I'm going to make a few more of these. So, um, so there's the finished um, product. I don't know if you can see that. I never really get very good light in here. There we go. Can you see that? So you've got obviously loads of yellows, you've got the blues and the pinks in there. And it's mixed up, so you've got like purples in there as well. Um, and I made a little um, sort of finial, I don't know if you call it a finial or not really. I don't know if a finial means it's longer or if a finial just means it's top, I don't know. But anyway, made a little knob thing for the top and this sort of opens up inside. <coughs> I can't see anything. No, it's not very good light in here, is it at all? This doesn't really do it justice. Seeing it in the flesh is much better, trust me. I will take some pictures and put them up, but this looks really nice. I am quite impressed with this. Um, I would never expected it to come out anywhere near like this. Um, the colours in it are fantastic, and the wood in there just really makes it uh, a unique piece. Lots of purple in there, um, lots of really nice bright blue in there as well. It's a really nice pot there, I, I love it. I, I really do love it. I really hope you guys do. I know that there's gonna be a few of you that are not gonna like it. But I do hope that you like uh, the pot. Um, any comments, please, you know, put them below. I try and get back to as many people as I can as always. Um, thanks for watching and thanks for sticking with me in my shop. Um, I really appreciate um, the viewers. Um, it's what you know this is what I do it for. I do it for you guys so that you can maybe just watch uh, what I do, learn, pick up some ideas. Um, I don't know, laugh you laugh about what I'm doing. I don't know. As long as it's entertaining for you guys then I'm happy. Um, the lid fits a little bit wobbly, a little bit wobbly in there, but it's not a bad fit. But could have been a little bit tighter, but you know, you're going to come across a few problems along the way. Uh, so there it is. Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate everything. Um, likes, comments, dislikes. Well, not so much the dislikes, but nevertheless. <laughs> Thanks very much for sticking with me. Uh, I'll see you again in my shop soon. Cheers, bye.